Let's take a look at the suggested equipment list. In closing, I hope this team defensive drills tape helps you incorporate your individual drills, your position play drills, those are the split infield, and your game situation drills. And remember as a coach, you've got to have perspective on where you are in your season. Is it early in the season you do a high level of individual drills? As you get closer to in season, do a high volume of game situation drills. You've got a checklist for equipment. You know the area in which you have to work and run your practices. You got to make sure you do a good job of communicating with your coaches on their role and what they're expected. If you don't have extra coaches, you got to make sure you identify those extra players that need to assist you. Make sure that we do a good job of defining our own level of success. You don't necessarily have to be the best team. You identify your own level of success with your players. And we have a saying at UCLA, there's only two things in this game you can control as a player. That's 100% effort and a positive attitude. If you can do that with a strong foundation of preparation, focus, and execution in every skill that you attempt, you're going to be a success. To each and every one of you, I want to wish you good luck. And remember, solid defense will always keep you in the ballgame.